To live this lifestyle, you need to take five simple steps to becoming a millionaire. How do I know? Well, I went from owning nothing to now controlling a portfolio of properties worth more than $20 million here in Canada. It didn't happen overnight, but if you follow these five steps I'm about to lay out for you, you can accomplish this much faster than I did. Stick around until the end of the video as I share the biggest mistake that keeps people from making millions in real estate. Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. My mission is to help 1,000 people create a million dollars of net worth with real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Before we get to the five steps, I want to explain how most successful real estate millionaires leverage their net worth. But first, let me define what a millionaire is and how you can get millionaire status. The first way to get millionaire status would be to have a million dollars in cash. This is not an easily achievable goal and nor would I recommend keeping a million dollars in cash unless of course your net worth was significantly more than a million dollars. Another way to gain millionaire status is to have a net worth of one million dollars. Net worth is defined as your assets minus your liabilities. For example, if I own $2 million of real estate and I have a million dollars of debt or mortgages associated with that real estate, I would have $1 million of net worth. This is how most real estate investors become millionaires. There is another way you could be defined as a millionaire and that is that if you owned $1 million of real estate and you own that real estate free and clear with no debt associated with it. Again, I'm not a huge fan of owning real estate outright because interest rates are at historic lows right now. If you owned a million dollars in real estate, you would have $1 million in cash sitting in those properties. I'd rather leverage that real estate with a mortgage at 75 or 80% loan to value at 2% interest and take that 750 or $800,000 and use it to buy more real estate. This is how most successful investors build their portfolio by using leverage. It's also the fastest way to become a millionaire. Now, you can grab a notepad or an iPad to create your roadmap to millionaire status in five steps. Step one is to set a goal. I can't believe how many new and seasoned investors I speak to who have no idea what their goals are. Do you wanna be a full-time real estate investor? Well, if so, you need to replace your income and therefore your goal should be to find properties or strategies that generate significant cash flow. If you have a job that you like and you wanna continue doing that, maybe your goal is to build your net worth. If that's the case, you can focus less on cash flow and more on equity appreciation and finding opportunities in up and coming areas. Your goals should also match your existing resources. If you don't have a lot of cash or credit, your goal is going to be very different from someone who has significant cash or available credit. And if you wanna start investing with zero dollars of your own money, I have a video on seven ways to raise money, so check it out right after this video. If you have a lack of time or knowledge, your focus should be to find strategies that don't require a lot of time or industry-specific knowledge to be successful. Goal setting doesn't have to be complicated either. The way that I like to break it down is set a five-year goal, a one-year goal, and a one-month goal, and put time in your calendar each week dedicated to reaching your goals. Step two, get properly educated. There are so many great resources out there available to investors. Some are free like this YouTube channel and some you will need to pay for. In my experience, if you wanna level up your real estate investing, at some point you will need to invest in your education. Although there are great resources through books and online communities, the best way to get educated is to find someone who has accomplished the goals you set out in step one and mentor under them. Stay tuned as at the end of this video, I will announce something special that can help you take your real estate education to the next level. Now, sadly, I see a lot of so-called gurus out there teaching real estate investing and asking people for large sums of money who do not have a lot of practical experience. Start with a small investment and as you grow your real estate portfolio, take some of your earnings and put it back into your education. This allows you to keep growing without emptying your bank account. Step three is choose your strategy or strategies that you will focus on. I see a lot of investors who fall prey to the shiny object syndrome. They see another investor creating success with a strategy that works for that person, and they wanna emulate that strategy because they think it will be lucrative. In reality, that strategy may be something that you have no interest in, and you're simply using it because you think it will yield the same results that the other investor had. Spoiler alert, if you follow the fundamentals of real estate investing, almost any strategy you choose can be successful. So make sure that you're choosing something that you're passionate about and that you really enjoy. 
Making money cannot be the single driver. For instance, if you know that you do not like dealing with tenants, then don't buy rental properties. There are so many other ways to make money as a real estate investor without having to deal with tenants. You just have to know what those strategies are and you wanna perfect them and narrow your focus. You can't be an expert at everything and nor should you. You can have multiple strategies that you use in your business, but I would choose two or three that work for you and focus on those before trying your hand at everything that real estate has to offer. Step four, build your team. If you plan to buy, renovate, refinance, rent and repeat, otherwise known as the Burr strategy, you will need a lot of people on your team. You'll need a great realtor, mortgage broker, lawyer, accountant, home inspector, contractor, insurance broker, property manager, and bookkeeper to name a few. Each of these team members should be an expert in their field. Try to find team members who cater their businesses to working with real estate investors. They will help you move your business forward just that much faster. Having said that, if you plan to be a passive investor, your team will need to be significantly smaller. Regardless of which strategy you focus on, take the time to find and work with the right people. We do this in other areas of our lives all the time, so I'm not sure why we are hesitant when it comes to real estate. If you needed knee surgery, you wouldn't go to your family doctor, so why would you use your friend who just got their real estate license to help you with perhaps the single largest purchase of your life? Cue the hate comments from all the new realtors out there. Just know that I say all of these things with love. Step five is to treat your real estate investing like a business. As you can see, most of the things that I've laid out have very little to do with real estate investing specifically and more to do with having the right people around you, having the right systems in place, having the knowledge to be able to execute on your plans and ultimately being able to keep as much money as possible in your pocket at the end of the day. If you treat your real estate investing like a business, you remove a lot of the emotion from your decision-making process and this will be hugely helpful to you as you build. Real estate is a numbers game and if the numbers don't work, you have to walk away. If you're treating your real estate investing like a business, it's easy to do so. But if you get emotionally involved in a transaction and are manipulating your numbers because you wanna make things work, that is a slippery slope towards the opposite of being a millionaire. Does this mean you have to go out and set up a corporation tomorrow, open up a business bank account and spend thousands of dollars on branding, websites and business cards? Hell no, it just means you have to start thinking like a business owner and an entrepreneur and making decisions based on the facts and not so much on the feelers. As a bonus, I promised I would share the biggest mistake that keeps most people from becoming a millionaire. Do not treat real estate investing like gambling. I've seen countless investors put all of their money into speculative investments, hoping that the market will continue to go up at the same rate it has in the past forever. That's not the way that real estate works. In fact, the market goes up and down all the time. It always has and it always will. So be patient and be willing to grow your investments over the long term and you will see tremendous success inside of real estate investing. If you're interested in learning more about how you can grow your real estate investing portfolio, I'm teaching a series of courses starting in September of 2021. For more information on the various offerings, dates, and pricing, check out my website at darrenvoros.com. If you have further questions about how you can become a millionaire with real estate investing in Canada, feel free to drop any questions in the comments section below. To continue your free education, check back here every Tuesday when I release a new video. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.